Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. Here in this video, I'm going to discuss Excel formulas that are uh, related to logic building. Okay, so for that, there is a category in the formula as a logical. So all these formulas I am going to discuss in this video. So before that, I would like to discuss uh, these basic formulas, sum, average, count, mean, max. So how these formulas works. Let's say you have a data set like this uh, order data I have. And if you want to take a sum of sales, so what you can do, you can use the sum formula. I will say sum here. And what you need to do whenever you have to enter the formula, okay, obviously you have to start with e is equal to sign. So I will put e is equal to sign in any of the cell. Once I put the sign, I have to start the formula name okay i have to type this formula name so here you will uh, see the all already available formulas for starting with some once you are uh, you can choose what formula you want from here by using arrows up arrow down arrow you can select and once you select the formula you have to enter the you have to hit not enter you have to hit tab button the formula will open then what you need to do you need to uh, move your cursor or pointer and then you have to select the entire range for which you want to take a sum okay this uh, kinds of formula or this is how we can select the range <clears throat> so what it will do it will give you the sum of all the uh, range or or sum of sales Okay, whatever the cells we have selected as a range here. If I want count, okay, so I can use count function. So if you use count function, count function will give you the count of numbers only. It will not give you count of text only. It will not add text data. Other type of data will not be considered in count. It will consider only in numbers. Okay, this is what about only count function. So this is how count function we can use if you want average okay average of uh, any any range so you can select here average and again you can select entire range this is how it going to works if you want to see the minimum number yes definitely you can see you can use the mean function and select the range <coughs> If you want maximum value from range, you can use max function. So this is how uh, these aggregation functions will works in Excel and it will return you maximum value from that specified range. This is how the simple, very simple and basic formulas of Excel. We call it as a summarization formula or aggregation formula that that is what definitely used with pivot table, right? So our main interest is to learn these formulas. So here, if I talk about and and is uh, uh, its formula, but we can treat this as a logical operator. We can treat or as a logical operator. We can treat not as a logical operator. If if a is a formula, if error is a formula, if na is a formula, so I will discuss each and every uh, formula from this tab okay so let me add a few rows in between so that we can start our formula so basically uh whenever you have to add a conditional column or you have to create a ca like a ca calculated column so we can add new column based on some conditions so conditional formula we use and that conditional formula is if else so first we will see uh, here in short how it is going to work okay then 500 so if i wanted to add new column to check whether the value of sales is higher than uh, 1000 or not or higher than 500 or not okay so in that case you can use if formula so what do you you have to do you have to put if 
okay and hit the tab button then you have to mention here logic test logic test is nothing but you have to use the operators okay what are the different operators we can use for the logic test so we can use definitely we use is equal to to compare the values uh, we can also use greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to so basically we have to use these operators and at last we can use not equal to so these six operators are used to build the logic test in excel with if so now i will do what i will do i will enter or i will start with if formula here i will select the value and i will say if this is greater than 500 okay and here you can syntax that what if the condition is true right whether this will uh, return true or false so if i okay i will what i will do i will just enter this value greater than 500 so here what you will see output is true in the terms of boolean value right so it is comparing whatever the conditional operator we have given based on that so next is i have to use this true and false in my if else if my expression whatever the logic test i have written here if that returns true first value will be return if that return false then second value will be returns okay so what i will do i will select this z2 if this is greater than 500 then i have to add some values here okay if you want to add the value in the form of text or if you want text to be entered in your cell as a result so you can uh, enter that text or enclose that text in double quotation otherwise you do not need to use double quotation okay so now what i will do i will i will say if this is greater than 500 i will say consider if this is not greater than 500 i don't want to consider that so what i will do i will say ignore and here you have a true and false value okay so now if my condition is false so what it, it is going to return it is going to return me the second value which is uh else value right which is a else value so whenever our condition gets filled or it returns false second value will be returned okay and if it is true first value will be returned instead of value we can put formulas here also there is no limitation if you want to add any other any other excel formulas yes you can add that also based on the business requirement this logics will be built so if we are just learning the syntax and how these formulas are used okay so similarly based on this if i want to uh okay i want to consider the value consider or ignore so i will create a new column and what i will do i will let me remove this i don't want this and i will say if if my sales value is greater than uh i can say 5000 okay i have to highlight or i have to filter that values definitely i can go there uh on the sales column and i can filter but instead of uh, selecting multiple values or putting we can create a new column that will help us to create a pre-vote and on simply inserting an insert inserting a slicer definitely we would be able to get all those values by by clicking on only single consider or ignore so this is how we can use we can we can use the formula to simplify our work okay and i will say consider if my sales value or sales amount is greater than 5000 i will say consider otherwise ignore hit enter go down and copy the formula top to bottom so here you will see that only these values are there did i enter the 5000 okay no only not these there are other values also 
okay so for this yes here it is only these values are there which are above 5000 let me highlight these values and that's why uh, it is giving me consider 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 for the values which are above 5000 otherwise my condition is getting failed and i am getting values as a ignore right so this is how if else works now suppose if you want to add multiple condition based on another column also you have to consider so this is what a single what now what we are going to do is we will use ignore consider using and formula okay so we can use multiple condition but we definitely need to use the operator called and and what is the condition or how we can use and or why we should use and operator suppose there is a condition that if the value is okay sales value is greater than 5000 and and if you want to add the condition for region or for category or any for categorical column okay if the technology oh sorry if category is equal to technology or region is equal to east then it should consider so we can put multiple condition okay it, it's not necessary that we should use uh, conditional operators for only numerical or uh, number columns we can use that on categorical columns i mean text columns also so what i will do i will say i will start the formula i will say if okay once if started If you want to put multiple for multiple conditions, uh, you need to use and you can use or also, but there is a, a little bit difference between and and or. So what is the purpose of using a, and? So whenever you use and operator, so many numbers of condition, okay, as many conditions you can, you can add, but this will return true and operator will return true when all the conditions given inside the and operator must be true then only it is going to return true otherwise it will not return true it will return false so what i will do i will say if my sales amount is greater than 5000 comma next condition okay so here you can separate each of this condition by comma and now second condition you have to start so what you can do you can you can go here and you can say select region column l2 is equal to east okay i will select east if my region is east and my sales amount is greater than 5000 then it should return me Okay, so your conditions are completed. So you, you must need to close, uh, you must need to close and bracket. Then you have to put the comma so that you can mention what if, if this condition is true. So you have to say consider. And what if, the condition mentioned or multiple conditions we have given so that if and operator returns false so definitely we have to say ignore right and this is how it going to works and now you will see the difference that whenever there is a region east it will say okay region east it will say consider 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 and values must be greater than 5000 so here you can see that uh, it is returning ignore that means it says that the condition is false but here if you look at the value value is my value first condition is true right my value is greater than 5000 obviously yes this this condition is true but what and says and says if all the conditions are true result of and operator will be 
true otherwise it will be false so here my second condition getting fell so i don't have region called east in l10 cell that's why we are getting ignore so this is how it works so what now we will see consider or if formula with or so definitely uh conditional operators are remain same okay but we what i will do i will use same formula same condition and but with or operator so what uh, what or will do or will say okay if first condition or if at least only one condition is true okay at least only one condition is true among all the multiple conditions given it will return true so what i will do i will say or okay so you can try first separately and if this is greater than 5000 so first value it will return true right so we are going to add second another condition so you have to separate the each condition by comma next condition is based on region so i will say region and l2 is equal to e a s t okay is right and i will enter so what it say is this is that both the conditions are true or will say okay i don't have any problem let's take true what it will do i if i go down it will say okay value is less uh not less than i mean first condition is value is greater than 5000 first condition is true it will return true there is no issue no need to check for the uh further conditions so similarly it will give you true until this value right and if i go down if i go here so here why you are getting your value is not right here your value is not greater than 5000 here 4548 value or some of not sales for that specific row east region but here second condition is true l11 okay where is l11 so if i open this formula so here you can see that l11 is east right so what this condition second condition is true what or will do or will say yes it is true or doesn't care if any one condition matches so now if you look at this result it says false why because first condition if you check for this p is equal is greater than 5000 yes it is not greater than 5000 first condition is false it will check for the next condition okay next condition is east whether my region is east no right it's west so both the conditions are false so or will return false when both or all the conditions given inside a or operator or or formula must be false then and then only it will return false otherwise at each of the every permutation and combination if you use any of the condition returns true or will say true so this is how it going to work now let's put this inside our formula so what you can do you have to use our operator in if so i will add if here if i have started conditions are already given i will put the comma and i will say if the condition is true let's say consider if the result is false ignore okay so this is how you can uh, use and what i will do i will okay i will go down and i will select the formulas i mean i, I will select the entire range and control d okay whenever you can press control d formula will be dragged to selected range and here you can see that we are getting consider 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 where at least one condition is true this is how uh, and an or operator is going to work so i must write here or operator right then there is something called uh, not operator you can invert the result if you want a result in reverse order so if you are formula is returning true you have to convert that into a false right so let me copy this formula and 
what I will do, I will, I will put that formula. So here you can see that by default, my OR operator is returning me uh, true. And because there is one condition that is true. But I don't want this to be a true. I want this to be a not true. I mean, false. So I can invert, I can put not before the OR. I, uh, I mean, I will enclose the entire OR formula in not operator. And if you see the result, it has changed the result to false. So this is how it's going to work. Okay, based on uh, your requirements, you have to consider. But if else is a very best or uh, best formulas in Excel, if you know these formulas, yes, your task will be uh, very, very easy. You, you can do valid data validation very easily with logical formulas. Logical formulas are very important while learning Excel. Let me bring back the formula. And if I say, yes, I can use the if here. If not, and what I will do, I will put the comma and I will say, if this is false, I will say ignore. Okay, this is what I am going to do here. And definitely it will give a opposite result of OR operator because whenever OR returns, consider it will return, not operator will return, ignore, 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 ignore. It will change the result. It will invert the result. Okay. Whenever our operator will return, ignore, it will say consider. This is how uh, these formulas are going to work. What is the false and true? Okay. If I talk about that, so these are the formulas you can directly use in any of the cells if you want to true help. So True function, this is what the function, okay, true function returns true. So simply, uh, same thing you can do by writing true, okay, you have to write a true here. So this is also going to work. But this is coming from the for formula output. Similarly, it happens with, or it works with a false function. So if I return false, so it will return me false as a value. So this is the output. Same thing we can do by enclosing false text. I mean, uh, false as a text inside a double quotation. This will work. Another formula is what we have seen is if error. Okay. So it's, it's not exactly like uh, if formula, but sometimes if you get any kind of error in your formulas or your Excel returns, hash na or hash error in that case you can put or you can replace that error with another value uh, by using if error so how to use let's say i i have these order ids and what i will do i will go here and i will put that order ids here and i would like to bring some other information related order based on this order id so i will use vlookup okay if i use vlookup if I go back and if I select the array or based on that, and I want uh, what region, region or what we can say that we can bring the postal codes also. So what I will do, I will bring the postal code. I will discuss we look up in detail in my uh, next video. Okay, no worries. So just look at what I am doing is, and here we are getting all the postal codes, right? It is very easy to uh, get that data, but what if there is a change in my or the specific value is not available, right? This value is not now available. I mean, this value I have changed. I have added one and this value is not available in my order IDs. So what it will do, it will return hash and And this is what a error kind error representation. Okay. Hash and that not exists. <clears throat> it said that value is not exist in that case. You can change this uh, or you can change the text or instead of getting error. So if you say if error, okay, if my this formula returns error, you can use another formula or either you can say uh, or any text you can add or what, what it was, it was order ID. Order ID is not exist, is not exist. This is what text I will add, but instead of text, definitely you can use Right. 
I have copy pasted formula for all the range. But whenever we look up, we'll return first the formula will return value. Second will be ignored. And if first gives error, second will be executed. And here we were getting hash NA because this value is not exist. If I change this to uh, original value, you will get a actual value. So this is how if error work. Okay. Similarly, uh, hash NA is there. Definitely hash NA is there. If I Copy, okay, I don't want copy, but I want a VLOOKUP formula so that I can see. And if I enter here, we are getting a value. If I change this value, okay, we will not get value. We are getting hash NA. So hash NA is very similar to if error, but what will happen? It will work with only error type hash NA. Okay. And check for value. This is how I can enter. Okay. I have entered. So if it returns, if that formula returns hash any, it will return the value of next formula. Or it depends. Okay. What you pass here, you can enter another VLOOKUP function here. And that's what we can do here for our initial. So let me remove this. Both the formulas are going to work. Okay. If they, if we are using hash NA and if the error type is not is equal to hash NA, definitely this will be, uh, this will not going to work, right? It will give us that error. So it is better to go ahead with, uh, if error so that it will handle any kind of error. So. Uh, in programming, like we have exception handling. So like this here, we have if error and if any, okay, to handle the Excel errors. Right. So I discussed this XR is a different function. Okay. It's a logical and when it is, it looks very similar. Okay. It looks very similar when, uh, we use, like we use our operator. But the difference is whenever all the conditions are true, XR will return false. So let's see how we can use XR also in our data. Let, let me try. Even I am also trying first time XR. So what I will do, I will use X, XR. So what I will do, I will simply copy the condition from here instead of typing entire condition so that will help us or that will help us to understand the result of XR. Okay. What I will do, I will change this or to XR. Okay. Here it is XR. Okay. And okay. This is returning. I don't want this. I don't want this. Yes. So here you can see that our function will return you a true. Our function will return you true. But XOR function, here what, what we are using? We are using XOR. Right here, XOR. And I use the OR here if my condition is true. OR is going to return me the consider. Okay or I will change this to true false. Okay. I can use the true and functions, false functions here. So I will, I would like to use that also. So it will return us simply a uh, true text and false text. Right. So I will use false here and enter. So now you can visualize the difference, how it is going to work or how these both the formulas are returning the value. So we can say that or is returning true, 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 true. If at least one condition is true, XOR will also do the same. Okay. XOR will return true if partial conditions are true, but it will return false when all the conditions are false. 
sorry all the conditions are true so here if you look our both the conditions are true my value is greater than 5000 my region is equal to east but still xor says it is false and what or will say or will say that it is true this is how it works xor is uh, logically opposite to the or operator then i also not used ifs okay ifs i think ifs allow us to try to multiple logical conditions let me see what we can do or what is this ifs okay so we can add multiple conditions here using ifs so logic test value if true one logic test one and like this we can add multiple conditions and multiple uh, returning values using ifs that you can try definitely so no, not necessary okay we can use nested ifs to overcome this uh, formula yes if will give you the all kinds of results so that that is what not necessary so this is all about our logical formulas in excel i would like to conclude this video here thank you so much for watching the video have a nice day